9c we're looking at e to the power of x dx so e to the power of x goes to e to the power of x between the natural log of 4 and 0 so we have e to the power of the natural log of 4 which we saw before was equal to 4 minus e to the power of 0 which is 1 so this gives 3 cos x go back and check it but it goes to sine x when we integrate so we're going to get sine x between 90 and 0 so the sine of you can put it in as a decimal if you want sine of 90 minus the sine of 0 is going to be 1 minus 0 which is what just 1 sine x goes to minus cos x in number 4 so we have minus cos x between I'm going to just I'm going to make it a 90 and a 45 so we have minus the cos of 90 and it's going to be minus minus the cos of 45 cos of 90 is 0 and the cos of 45 is 1 over root 2 so we're just going to get 1 over root 2 here e to the power of x again goes to e to the power of x so we're going to have e to the power of x between natural log of 5 and natural log of 2 which is e to the power of the natural log of 5 minus e to the power of the natural log of 2 and we've seen before that's going to be 5 minus 2 which is 3 2 cos x for number 6 cos goes to sine so we're going to have 2 sine x it's between 60 and 30 so we're going to have twice the sine of 60 minus twice the sine of 30 so that's root 3 over 2 the sine of 60 by 2 which is just root 3 and the sine of 30 is a half so 2 times a half is 1 so this looks like it's going to give root 3 minus 1 4 sine x goes to 4 cos x and a minus between 60 and 0. So minus 4 by the cos of 60 and then it's minus minus 4 by the cos of 0 which is equal to 1. So that's going to give cos of 60 is a half, 4 times a half is 2 minus 2 plus 4 which is equal to 2 for number 7 number 8 I'll just come this way cos x as we've seen before cos x goes to sine x so we're going to get sine x and sine x goes to minus cos x so sine x minus cos x between 45 and 0 so we are going to get the sine of 45 minus the cos of 45 and then we're going to have minus the sine of sorry i should have put the bands in 45 and 0 and then it's going to be minus the sine of 0 minus the cos of 0 that's just going to give one over, well, these are the same one over root two twice will be zero minus zero minus one so that's just going to give plus one they can seem a little bit awkward but they shouldn't be too bad number nine cos x goes to sine x and sine x goes to minus, minus cos x so that's going to be minus minus plus cos x between 90 and 45 so the sine of 90 plus the cos of 90 and then minus the sine of 45 plus the cos of 45 you could calculate calculator this if you want the sine of 90 is equal to 1 and the cos of 90 is equal to 0 so that's 1 minus 1 over root 2 plus 1 over root 2 for the sine of cos of 45 so we're going to get 1 minus 2 over root 2 1 minus yeah, we have 2 over root 2 which on the calculator probably is 2 over root 2 get rid of your third on the bottom by multiplying top and bottom by root 2 
2 root 2 over 2. So it actually tidies up just to be root 2. So 1 minus root 2 is a tidier version of number 9. 